Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Your Turn to Die, a uh, death game by majority. It's been a second since I was able to last record, so I do want to go through and re-talk to everybody again so that I remember what everybody, uh, what their positions are right now. Okay, so Kana's not talking. Don't tell me. None of y'all are thinking you'd be fine dying, right? I searched as best I could, and I found things. Lots of things. Again, say nothing. Okay. So, obviously, we know that we are the key master. Um, the other... Um... Rules. Oh, here we go. So, commoners, no powers. Key masters... Everyone dies if we're chosen. The sacrifice has two votes, but lives only if they are chosen. Um, they also get to bring someone with them. Uh, Sage knows who the key master is, but cannot lie about the results of the divination, which means they probably don't know already. They have to, like, do a divination action is my kind of understanding of that. Okay. So, obviously we need to figure out who the traitor is. Or the sacrifices, because they're the most dangerous person. The fact that they have two votes, to me, seems like there's a way that we can use that to figure them out. Um, but I'm not totally sure yet. So let's go through an extract from everybody. Um. I know I dragged you down, but I did give it my all. I'm begging you, please don't cut me out. Neo. Um, hey, please calm down. You need to be calm, especially in times like this. Uh, oh, sorry. Maybe she's a regained a little composure. Can you talk now? I searched the second floor my rooms myself, but sorry, I wasn't able to find anything that seemed important. But I'm begging you, Sarah. Neo stuck up for me. I want to protect her. Okay, Gin? Gin. Kutaro's not so scary. It's okay. Big Sis Sarah's here. Do you want to say something? No good. Gin's keeping his silence. Okay. What about Kutaro? Sarah, I'm being serious about this. If there's someone wishing they were dead, I won't stand for it. Okay. Kana. Sarah. What so? What's the matter, Kana? You want to say something, right? Come out and say it. Kana. Kana. Doesn't care what happens anymore. Kana? Even if she is chosen, it's fine. Okay. So, obviously, Kutaro and Kana's um, statements conflict. Apply sword statement. Kana doesn't really mind if she's picked. What? She's had enough. Kana just wants to go to her sister. Kana, don't be ridiculous! I'm just tired. You gotta be kidding! You really want to die without a peep? Please, wait. Miss Kana, are you serious? Or is this an act? Kana won't say anything else. Please do what you want. This is troubling. Miss Kana may have drawn the sacrifice card. Sacrifice? The sacrifice must be chosen to survive. Thus, they would put on a one-man show. Yet, yeah, she's got enough motive that we could really believe she wants to die. Th then, no picking her for now, right? Not participating in the discussion so as to earn herself votes? I can't imagine Kana playing those sorts of mind games. Unless someone suggested it to her. So? 
Everyone, let's just put the subject of Kana aside for now. Can't know her true intent, after all. First, why don't we hear from Gin and Miss Na Nao, too? Then make our decision. So... Are you... protecting Kana? Is it just me? Or are you protecting Kana? I can't afford to do that. I just don't want to waste our time. Don't want to be scrambling before the vote, right? That's true. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Oh, that's right. There's something I should take this opportunity to tell everyone. You see, I'm the key master. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, so... Okay. Yeah, we kind of saw this coming, right? So, in theory, right, only an innocent person would want to claim key master, right? It's less likely that the sacrifice would because, you know, nobody wants to vote for the key master or no one wants to vote for anyone who might be the key master, right? Obviously, so is not the key master. But is he actually innocent or is he double bluffing? Right? Like he's actually trying to seem like an innocent person because he knows that the sage is going to be able to tell the difference. Unless, double unless, someone else is going to double bluff, right? And pretend to be the sage so that they're the person that so chooses to take with them as the sacrifice. It's interesting. It could be really complicated, but the idea that someone that so managed to coordinate that with somebody without, like, talking about it first would kind of be insane. Huh? I was unsure whether I should keep quiet, but I want to avoid us all dying, so... Besides, if the Keymaster doesn't manage things, they'll just turn into a mess. What is so saying? The Keymaster is me. Really? That's the truth, ain't it? If no one else is going to name themselves, then yeah, I'll believe it. Hmm. Do we want to do this now? What's the danger of letting So pretend to be the Keymaster? Certainly the Sage would point it out. So maybe we don't need to play our hand yet. So let's not say anything yet. I don't know. Is it right for me to announce myself now? As Miley explained it, there's one key master. So is lying. I can't imagine anything else. Hmm, is that a fact? No, I'm afraid I can't believe that easily. For the current time, so, I will trust that you are the key master. Thanks, uh, I'll do my best. For now, Gin, could we get some proper statements from you? Meow. Yeah, that's right, Gin. Be a man. Tell him what you gotta say. Meow. Meow. Gin's frightened, and it's your crude-ass men to blame. We've got no time, Gin. Prove that you're, you've been useful to everyone. Uh, all right. What do you got to say again? Anything? Meow, meow. Okay. Um, let's try to extract from Gin. He's trembling. Let's look him in the eye. Gin. It's no good. Gin's closed his heart. Okay. Extract from Reiko. You say, you say something too, Sarah. Reiko, can you recall anything in particular that Gin did? Uh, well, um... Uh... Come to think of it, Gin said he found something amazing searching that second floor room. What exactly was it? Okay. People who drag things down are doomed to die sooner or later. That's true for me, and it's true for you too, right? Don't matter if you're an adult or a kid right now. Kutaro is serious. Okay, Gin? 
kindly question him, maybe. Can you try to remember what you've seen and noticed in this place? Okay. So can we do a versus of Gin and Reiko? Uh, the hell's that? Okay, that didn't work. Um, oh, we lost a little bit of clout there. That's unfortunate. Um, you know, let's drop a save really quick, just in case. Um, I really don't want to have to spend a ton of time repeating off screen. Um, I mean, Reiko's fighting back against Kutaro, right? So maybe we do Kutaro against Reiko. Gin, show it to him. The amazing thing you found searching the second floor. Amazing thing? I don't know anything about that, you know. What'd you say? Reiko, you got a fine attitude, but see here. It ain't right to go, it ain't right to go about spouting lies to protect people, all right? Uh, no, I tell you, I'm not lying. Somebody's gotta die in this place. Maybe it'll be you. Hold the hell up. Woof. Big sis Reiko. We need to spur on Gin. Gently? What does admonish mean? I don't know what that means. Gin, tell the truth and stick up for Reiko. Don't you feel bad seeing her be insulted? I do. I do, meow. But... But... What a cowardly kid. You call yourself a man? No, he's a kid, idiot. Uh. Okay, got our clout back. Nice. Okay, and we get a save. Nice. Deny, deny, affirm. The discussion is stuck in equilibrium, failing to come to an agreement. I need to swing the needle to either side, or this balance will never colla collapse. Okay. Want an example of balance battles? Yes, please. Both speakers will give statements at the same time. By affirming or denying one party's opinion, you can change their views. If all goes well, the balance will shift and you can advance to the next dialogue. Note that there is no time limit, but there is a limit to the number of selections you can make. Okay. Nobody's gonna lend a hand if you're silent. And just being silent. Okay. Interesting. No one's gonna lend a hand if you're silent. Deny. No, I'll lend a hand. I won't let you do as you please, Hutaro. That's just being overbearing, Sarah. Uh, no good. Wait, what? No one's gonna lend a hand if you're silent. So should we deny the silence? You've got that wrong, Gin. Got what wrong, meow? Good point. Wait, what? So we have to affirm Kutaro then. Kutaro is right. Gin, please say something. It doesn't matter what. But, I mean... Okay. You won't get special, special treatments. Or I didn't see anything. Well, Reiko says you did. Oh, really? So was everything Reiko said a lie? No, meow. But I... I didn't. Gin, you just gotta be lying right. Big Sis Reiko's got it wrong. Oof. Okay, what, did, what do you mean? Right, everyone makes mistakes. You guys really gonna accept that? Okay, never mind. I can't upset the balance, let's start over. Okay, interesting. Ha! <sighs> Alright. We can't just affirm his silence, so we have to affirm Kutaro here. Then here... You're saying you didn't see anything. Or you won't get special treatment, kid. I mean, come on, dude. It is literally a kid. As a child, he should be treated delicately. You're being irresponsible. Gah, is that how you talk to an adult? So what, the adults need special treatment? Okay. So should we affirm? 
Sure enough, you didn't see anything. Sure enough, that makes Reiko a liar. Okay, so that we have to affirm here. Right, age is irrelevant here. Guinness shrinking. Wait, so we've done all of them, haven't we? What? No one's gonna lend a hand. I, I mean, we haven't tried this one. Okay, all right, interesting. So it has to be this one first. Then do we immediately have to affirm Kitaro again? Age is irrelevant here. Haven't we tried all of these? Oh, really? Was everything cute? Yeah, right, we did this. Oh, 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 okay. Gin, you gotta be just lying, right? Deny that. Gin isn't lying at all. Stop flip-flopping, Sarah. Wait, what? I'm confused here. I don't really, I can't really tell how I'm supposed to know. So no, okay, so we know that's a firm. You won't get special treatment is, I didn't see anything. You won't get special treatment. Is that also a firm? So is it this one? Okay, so it's affirm and then deny. Again, you gotta be just lying. Big Sis Reiko's got it wrong. This feels like deny, but... Affirm this? No, we did that, we tried that. Is it deny this? Oh, okay. Okay. I just... Didn't want to believe that thing. Oof. I didn't want to show that thing and make everyone worry, Meow. Make us worry? Are you defending someone? Gin, are you trying to protect someone? Yeah, how did you know, Oof. I thought so. I believe you, Gin. Whatever strange thing you present, I'll handle it. Okay, yeah. Seeing Big Sis Reiko get yelled at by the muscle gorilla really ticked me off, meow. Just so you know, I take gorilla as a compliment. Woof, I believe you too, Miss Big... Big Sis Sarah. I almost said Big Miss. Yeah. So, I was trying to put together the paper scraps from the shredder thingy on the second floor. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. But then, woof. Taking a look in there, I noticed some hand-torn paper, too, Meow. A and there... Woof. It said... That Big Sis Sarah was a murderer. What? Huh? What? What are you talking about? Kutaro, please don't shout! But what is the meaning of this? I need to get more details. Okay, so it says that we're a murderer. Yeah, again, can you give us a little bit more? The extract? But I... I believe in Big Sis... Big Sis Sarah. Woof. Uh, what should I ask first? Hmm. Do you have the letter? If you have the actual letter on you, could you show it to me? Oh, yeah, I have it. Meow. Look at it. Woof. What the hell? What's this? It feels familiar. Sarah Cheetoin, murderer. Naomi Kurumada, high school student. Keiji Shinogi, detective. Kutaro Bibi, high school teacher. What? What the hell? Obviously, it matches the other piece of paper that we have. Um, what do I do? Should I have him add that info to the statement? Yes. So that's important? Woof. Got it. Meow. I'll state it loud and clear. Woof. Okay, what you got, buddy? The letter saying Big Sis Sarah is a murderer. I've gotten... I've got it written... I've got it with me, sure enough. It's written right here that she is. Woof. 
Want to see it again? Here. Okay. Alright, so... Well, we know we can cancel this. Um, can we just talk to you again? No. Item. Torn paper. Show that to Gin. Use the selected item. This is it. What is it? What is it, Meow? Take a look at this. It's a piece of paper I picked up. Does it also fit perfectly? My, 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 meow. This looks just like the one you have, right? This is Gin. This is Gin's. Similar. Woof. Totally the same. Woof. If you notice, the fact that Kutaro is listed as a high school teacher is weird, too. Look at this. If you remove the left half and connect it to the piece that I have. Wh what? M meow? They're connected. Woof. The tear matches up perfectly. Why is that? Um, they were torn in a stack. A memo pad just has... No, it's torn in a stack. That's it. Multiple sheets were all torn at once. If you look at these sheets, if you took these sheets and stacked them like this and then tore it, it would produce these results. In other words, there were at least two of these sheets stacked together. Is that it? Woof. Since they fit together so cleanly, of course, misunderstandings would happen. It's a little too loud. Jeez, okay. Yay! Thank goodness, Meow. But you know, what what are these sheets in the first place? They are creepy, aren't they? The professor's name is on here, and even some people I don't know. And whatever could the percentages on the side be? Anyway, I've proved I was useful for exploring, Meow. And now I'm glad that Big Sis Sarah wasn't a murderer after all. Huh? Then who is a murderer, Meow? As far as this shows, that would be... Alice Yabasame. That would be whoever Alice Yabasame is. Yabasame? That sounds kind of familiar, Meow. There's only one person here with the last name Yabasame. Uh, whose last name is Yabasame? Please identify Yabasame. Uh, is it Kana's sister? I'm guessing. Right? Is it Kana's sister? Select Kana as Yabasame? Hold on. Do I have a way to check? Can I check? Options, items. No. It must be Kana's sister. Yes. No, Kana is Kizuchi. Oh, oops. Um, it uses a lot of kanji, so it sticks out in my mind. Who is Yabasame then? Is it so? Uh I don't want to lose all my clout here, so let's save. Um Okay. I don't remember everybody's last name. Is it Kai? We know he's a stalker, right? Or is it you? I don't even remember what your name is. Or so? I don't know. We'll try Kai. Is it Kai Yabasami? No, Sato. It's a very common name, but I think that was it. Is it so? No? Oh god, come on! I want to say it was a woman, right? Is it Reiko Yabasame? It was Reiko. Okay, oops. Reiko, as far as, I, as far as I can recall, you're Reiko Yabasame, aren't you? Ugh. E yeah, I'm Reiko Yabasame. And so what? J just a coincidence, right? I don't know anybody by that name. Uh-huh. Sarah, what do you think? Reiko... Is an alias. 
Well, Reiko and Alice are different. Um, I mean, she's a rock star, right? So couldn't it be like a stage name? Reiko might be an alien. Hold on a sec. In the bar on the blackboard, I saw a list of people who could drink and who couldn't. And it said both Reiko and Alice. Um, come to think of it, when I was searching the floor, I found chalk on the floor. So it's not impossible it was changed. Y you got it wrong, it's not me. Besides, handwritten piece of paper? Anybody can make those, right? If they had a pen, sure. Ugh. Big Sis Reiko can't be a murderer, woof. Then, should we call it a relative's name? Uh, I remembered. My, my brother, it's my brother's name. Alice is your brother, not your sister? Even your excuses are becoming illogical. It ain't an excuse. Rigo, tell the truth. Believe me, I, I mean, I... Reiko. Sarah, help me. Uh... We don't know anything about the paper, right? Everything else on the paper is correct, though, right? Uh... We, there's no way for us to know, is there? I mean, Joe recognized Reiko, but there's no reason that Reiko can't be a stage name. Uh... We have no reason to believe what's on the piece of paper. Um, it's not wise to trust these scraps of paper. Somebody was trying to dispose of these scraps. Maybe because they were too inconvenient? Damn it, I... I... Wait! It's me. I'm Alice, okay? What? Huh? I'm Alice, I'm telling you. Reiko did nothing wrong. It's a misunderstanding. Listen, we're in the middle of a serious discussion right now. I'm being serious too! Reiko. Reiko is my little sister. You for real? Couldn't hide it, huh? This guy's real name is Abis Alice Yabasame. He's my older brother. Then the murderer is me. I lied about being a thief. I went to prison for killing someone. Isn't this guy some serious bad news? Yes, that's right. Indeed I am. A damned criminal. And Reiko cut me off as well, saying never to show her m my mug again. And yet, it's not even funny to think we'd re reunite in this place. Me and him are total strangers at this point. I didn't want Kana and the rest being scared of me because of this guy. So when he woke up, I told him to hide our relationship. Right after, right after you went to look for Neo. So that's it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a simple murderer. But Reiko is different. She's a good and proper person. That's all I wanted to say. Damn it all. So you deny any connection with the kidnappers? Right. Why I was brought here, I still don't know. <laughs> I suppose I can't expect trust or anything else, can I? It's just the ramblings of a killer. <laughs> Despite us talking about Gin, we got some unexpected information there. There are still many more points of interest, but there's no time. I want to hear Neo's justification soon enough. What do you think? Huh? Me? That's fine, right, Miss Sarah? There's still something. We don't have time to resolve every question. Other than Reiko and Alice. What has me curious is... The names and occupations. Can we look at it again? No. Uh... Because it didn't it say she was a student? Isn't that what it said? Where I found the paper. 
that is kind of interesting, because we found it in the locked room. I wonder why I found my scrap of paper in the red room. I honestly don't remember. Was that in the room to start with? Or did I bring it in there while in a panic? I doubt Alice would lie to, about this at this point. No helping it. We should move to the next topic. Well then, Miss Nao, please, give us your justification. Alright. I see a lot of... I see a lot that's Ill illogical about Nao's actions. Illogical, eh? Aren't you curious why she, what she was up to in the kitchen holding the box with Mishima? Tell me what you were doing then, Miss Nao. Because of the body collection announcement, I went into a panic. I took the box and just sat and hid in the kitchen. I didn't even touch anything in the room. I know I troubled you all a lot, but I didn't want to lose him. After everyone else, I suspect I inspected the kitchen and found no signs of any trickery. Perhaps she truly is just hi or truly was just hiding. Okay. What do you seem so sure she did, so? I wonder if she really it was just hiding. So seems to want to imply something. Okay. Sitting in the dark, I asked him questions again and again. Even though I wouldn't get an answer. Miss Sarah, you searched before me, so you should be aware of this as well. Ah. So we did find the knife box missing a knife. So does Neo have the knife? Yeah, okay. That's likely. Did you really not touch anything? Huh? The kitchen had been locked until then. And after you left, Neo, we obtained this long, narrow box. There was nothing inside. Only Neo could have taken the knife out of it. Uh, I didn't know anything about that. Hold on. When and how did Neo find the key to the kitchen anyway? It was open. Huh? The kitchen door was unlocked at the time. So... I ran in and locked it from the inside. Then someone else went in first, meow. That's who took the knife. Woof. First, I carried Alice over to the pink room. At that time, someone dug through the kitchen, took the knife, and left. Finally, Naya went into the kitchen with the box and locked herself in. Does the timing work out? Hmm, maybe that's logical. It's super sketchy, though. It, it's not sketchy in the least. I'll, I'll tell you anything. Well then, Miss Nao, tell us what you were doing in the kitchen. She just said, hiding in the dark. The whole time, I just sat and held the prof the box. I didn't move an inch. Well, I guess you just have to break the ice, Sarah. Yeah, I need to ask her about that. The fact that there is no head in the box. Do we have the box? Um, is there like a page two? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, so let's extract from Neo further. Right, because she does correct herself here. She stops saying the professor. So maybe that implies she knew that he wasn't in there anymore? Sitting in the dark, I asked him questions again and again. Even though... I wouldn't get an answer. All right, KG. Well, guess you'll just have to break the ice, Sarah. She never let it go. Then wonder why the box was empty. We'll just have to ask her. All right, so we have to pin them against each other, I guess. So you're lying, huh, Nao? What? There was nothing in the box. Nothing at all. What? That can't be right. It's true, Nao. 
What's that? I, I don't know anything. The professor was with me the whole time. Where did he go? Hmm, is this an act? Neo ain't that kind of gal. There's gotta be a reason. It vanished. The mystery of the vanishing head. If Neo's just acting, then... Can't really put together why she'd need to lie to us here. What's going on? I don't understand. I certainly lost sight of myself, but I've done nothing suspicious, and I don't know why it disappeared. Neo, respe respected Professor Mishima, maybe her shock was so great that she unconsciously did something strange? It must have gotten swapped, at some point, with another box the kidnappers prepared. The contents of the box warped, Meow, L like a dimensional teleporter thing, woof. Okay, that's probably not what happened. Um, Miss Neo being man manipulated by the kidnappers, is that a possibility? Hmm, is there no good lead? Interesting. Hmm. So, hmm. I, we need to hear more from Neo. She's the only one who can actually give information here. To me, Professor Mishima was a very, very important figure. Losing Professor Mishima in the vote. Were you sad? Were you angry? I mean, she was b probably both. I mean... Of course she was sad. Were you angry? Not so much angry. I was sad. It was so depressing and painful. I didn't want to believe it was reality. You were sad. Yes! You'd understand, right, Sarah? Wasn't she curious about who voted for Professor Mishima? Hmm. Well, because Sarah... Is, right, that's right. So claims that he voted for Joe. But we have no reason to believe that's true. Like, come on. Um. Oh, I hope you guys can't hear that. Okay, good. It sounds like the microphone's cutting it out. My neighbor just started vacuuming. Uh, okay. Let's extract from Joe here. It's not like we always act in the most logical way, right? This was after an awful vote. I felt... What Neo felt. If I felt what Neo felt, I'd... If you felt like Neo... What would you do? Joe, if it had been you who lost someone precious in that vote, what would you do? If it were me? Rather than grieve, I might just snap. Snap? Like, who the hell voted for Sarah? I'd look for the culprit on the spot. Of course, I'd know full well it was Miley to blame but I might take out my anger on everyone else. That's what I mean. You don't always follow logic. Yeah, maybe so. If someone else killed them, anger would be a natural response. True. So would that mean they're in conflict here? So to Joe, anger would be natural, but she's saying she wasn't angry. Neo, I'm a little curious. Huh? Maybe I've just gone through... Maybe I've just got a rough disposition, but... Why didn't you think about looking for the culprit? I mean... If it wasn't an accident... It wasn't an accident, it's because the votes... It's because of the votes that such a terrible thing happened. To someone you deeply respected. Ain't it more natural to get angry? I... I... I don't think so at all. Since I knew no one's votes had any ill will. Maybe you didn't respect him. What are you? Maybe Miss Neo and Professor Mishima didn't have any bond at all. I mean, we kind of know that's not true. Then I could understand her mindset if not seeking out of not seeking out the culprit. 
how awful. You're awful, just awful. I truly did. Sarah, what do you think? I mean, yeah, of course, their bond was real. Come on. Mishima said so too. Those two seem to have a great relationship. I can't point to something, to some logical proof. It was just something about him. Neo being that distraught couldn't be an act. But more than that, they both corroborated the same thing. And yes, there must be some reason for the professor's disappearing head. The collar. Huh? Suppose Miss Neo didn't stick Professor Mishimia in the box out of affection for him. Rather, maybe her objective was to retrieve the collar on his neck? In other words, information that Miley failed to retrieve. You trying to say Neo collected the collar in place of the kidnappers? Dunno. However, I should note that your friendly policeman wasn't able to investigate that collar, because Neo was there. Hey, you being serious? What? What? What are you all talking about? I don't know. I don't know anything. Please, just stop it. Then tell us, why didn't you care who the culprit was after the vote? Because Professor Mishima was killed by the people who voted for him. You stop right there, Joe. Stop it. Don't say another word. I'm begging you. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. What? I overheard all of it. It was just before the vote. Mishima said something. Quiet enough that only somebody real close could hear. Miss Neo, Miss Neo. Let us vote for each other, Miss Neo. He said that? Thinking the vote was just a test, I'm sure Neo voted for Mishima like he asked. But Mishima voted for himself. To protect his student, just in case. That's why Neo didn't look for the culprit. Don't bring up any ill will crap, because it doesn't matter. His death was an accident. Neo. I... Uh... If I... If I had voted for him... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Neo. All this time I'd thinking... I'd been thinking whoever voted for another person must have had bad intentions. Because I... voted for myself. What? Wait, Joe, you voted for yourself? Huh? Yeah. So, didn't you tell me you voted for Joe? No way, I didn't say anything like that. You motherfucker. What's this about, so? <laughs> Don't worry about it, everybody. Miss Sarah asked me who I voted for, so I told her whatever. She's so diligent, she must have taken it seriously. This... this guy... He's a huge liar. So, ultimately, are we just going to ignore the missing head? That's still a big mystery, but it seems like Neo did nothing wrong, at least. Maybe Reiko had the right idea, and it got swapped out at some point. Just discussing, it's pointless. Oof. Let's talk about that gorilla next, meow. For real? You okay ignoring it, Sarah? Uh... I don't know what finding the head would get us. I mean, it would get us that Neo wasn't holding the box the entire time, probably. Let's go to the next topic. We gotta move through this. We don't have a ton of time. Oh? Uh, sorry, that was bad manners. <laughs> hey, guys. You're never gonna solve anything like this. B but I think it's wonderful you trust each other with this much af af this much after just meeting, you know? But, well, bad people, so bad people always feign ignorance. Innocence. But bad people always feign innocence. You trying to say Neo's a bad person? I just remembered something. That Miss Neo's the one who attacked me. What? That was a close one. If I hadn't remembered that, she could have gotten away clean. 
Uh, no. Fucking shut the fuck up, so. Don't get in the way, Sarah. Uh. I'll hear out anything, Miss Nao. Now's your only chance to tell the truth. If we're going to argue until one of us loses trust, I'd have to do my best, too. Tell me, do you have that courage? I... I did hit so. Oh, for real? You're joking, right? Why now? I was threatened. B by who? Kai. What the hell is happening? Kai threatened me. Okay, I think this is where we're gonna, where we're gonna leave it for this episode. Thanks everybody very much for watching. Um, my God, I so much is happening that I had no idea was happening. Ugh, and I just hate so so is a fucking dirtbag. I hate him, but okay. <sighs> like I said, thanks everybody. Thanks everybody very much for watching. I'll see you next time.